Hi there, my name is Ronan Omurhile and I'm the Head of Faculty of Film Art and Creative Technologies. Thanks for taking the time to watch this. I'm here to talk to you about portfolios and how to get into IADT. But before I get into that, I want to talk a little bit about IADT, who we are, our programmes and what life might be like for you if you come here to study. Then at the end, I'll get into advice around portfolios and more besides. IDT is unique. Everybody says that, but IDT really is unique. We are Ireland's only institute of art, design and technology with a specific focus on the creative and cultural and technological sectors. Our faculties, the Faculty of Film, Art and Creative Technologies and the Faculty of Enterprise and Humanities are unique in that they combine practical, transferable skills with critical and relevant academic studies. All of which means IDT is a place where you come to learn by doing. We want you to become a creative person who can change the world for the better. All the time you are here, you will be making new work and hopefully having fun while doing it. COVID has made a mess of everything this year. We are doing okay, but light is at the end of the tunnel and life will get back to normal for all of us. IDT is about 2,500 students and 200 staff. We're a small campus, we don't have the facilities of the bigger colleges, but we have fantastic community and everyone knows everyone by their first name. Students get to work with really committed staff, many of whom are internationally acclaimed practitioners. There's, there's excellent gender balance in our student community and amongst our staff, and we do our best to make sure the culture here is as tolerant and open as it can be. Everyone of every shape, size, colour or, or creed are very welcome here. In fact, we want different at IDT. There are more than enough boring middle-class men like me in the creative industries. We need more voices to tell their stories and to help shape the world around us. Why IADT, you might ask? All our degrees are the equal of any degree in Ireland. Most are level eight and meet all of the European quality standards. They are practice-based, which means we teach and you learn by doing. You make art, films, costumes, models, computer graphics, sets, computer programs, whatever it might be, through projects that are simulated on real world experiences. There are very few exams. Much of the assessment is continuous assessment. All the while, you are learning hands-on in small classes that are very much focused on working creatively together. And we know that not everyone has the same abilities. We have a full range of services on campus available to you to help you during your time at IDT. Traditional learning can be challenging for some people and we recognise that. We have counsellors to help when things get tough and other supports designed to help you if you need them. The students are our most important advocates. Let's hear from some of them on their view of IADT. I think what suited me best about IDT was the size of the college. It was a small, tight-knit environment and that really appealed to me. It's difficult not to become part of the community in IDT, like constantly contributing to the college itself rather than just your course. There's an absolutely lovely environment across the entire school. Every class is only about 30 people, it kind of goes 30 to 35 people. And from day one, we are all working in groups together. At all times, you are being trained for industry and we're working to industry standards. So the entire time you're in college, it's like you are working in a safe environment where you know you have that support network of your class and your lecturers. We're learning to code and we're learning how to like interact with businesses and learning how to build a portfolio and stuff. There's lots of opportunities to creatively come together and show what we can all do, be it animation or film or photography. Even just walking through some of the buildings and seeing some of the visual art around is just like, wow. If you just want to go down with your notebook and learn about something, they will always be there to help you out. When you love what you're doing, it doesn't feel like a job. It's, it's, it's actually like a holiday from Monday to Friday. Without a doubt, this college has given me all the skills and the tools that I need now for whenever I finish at the end of May. That's something IDT is the only place that could have given me that. Some of our students there talking about IADT. I'm going to move on now and talk about our faculty, the Faculty of Film Art and Creative Technologies. Importantly, FACT is the home of the National Film School, Ireland's leading centre for education for film, television and the screen arts more generally. It's an exciting interdisciplinary place to study and come and make work. 
Our goal is to inspire and enable students to become authentic and courageous storytellers. And we haven't been doing too badly on that front of late with three graduates nominated for Oscars in 2019. And this year, 2020, we were recognized by Variety magazine as one of the top film schools in the world. This is a good point to take another break and enjoy a quick sample of student work. We are more than just the film school, of course, at IEDT. We have three departments, one focused on design and visual arts and one focused on film and media and a department of technology and psychology. And that's not counting the other faculty where there are a host of business and humanities degrees worth checking out. We really do a lot more here than people think. Here is a list of all our undergraduate degrees, in fact. Just very quickly, the BA in Applied Psychology is fully accredited and is one of the leading psychology degrees of its kind in Europe, taught by expert staff. Creative Computing is a fantastic mix of computer science and using tech to be creative. Interaction and user experience design takes a deep dive into the digital world and how we shape and interact with it. Creative Music Production brings together the best of technology and music and has a fantastic new pathway if you want to continue your music practice. We have taken the old BA in film and television production and split them in two. Both disciplines have distinct degrees, but are very much interlinked. Design for film is new. It brings together all the disciplines concerned with the world we see on screens. The costumes, the characters, the makeup, the sets, the physical and digital worlds, all designed and made in one programme. First year is common and you then find your path, your specialisation from there. Photography and visual media is a world-class degree in photography and recognises the multidisciplinary practice that is photography. It's much more than taking photographs. It's everything to do with looking at the world around us through a lens. Animation remains the leading general animation degree in the country, with graduates leading the way in telling stories in a variety of animated forms, including 2D, 3D and under camera. The BA in art is at the heart of IADT's DNA. It challenges you to become an artist who can express themselves through any media or medium. You don't just become a painter or a sculptor, but a truly expressive artist. The BA in graphic design builds on the success of the BA in visual communications that has been producing leading designers for decades. It covers all forms of design, traditional analog forms, digital and much more, as you learn how to shape and craft the world around us and how we understand it. All of these programmes, bar the first two, require a portfolio to get in. I've done a lot of talking there in the last few minutes. Let's pause and see some of the facilities and enjoy some more student work. I do find it very unique in IDT is because you've kind of formed this relationship with lecturers, you're constantly getting one-to-one -one conversations. I'm constantly learning new skills every day. Like You just want to go down with your notebook and learn about something that will always be there to help you out. Kind of take that away from IDT, not just the skills that I've learned, but the friends I've taken away from as well. 
Some examples there of student work. Now I will turn to portfolios and what we are looking for. The first thing I would say is go to the website and look at each programme and their specific requirements. There are a lot of commonalities, but you do need to be mindful of each programme's requirements. A portfolio is needed for all the programmes in the Department of Design and Visual Arts, Film and Media and Interaction and User Experience Design. Really important is you need to apply via the CAO before the 1st of February 2021. These are restricted programmes, which means you need to submit a portfolio to get in. The portfolio deadline is the 18th of March 2021. That's a Thursday. All our portfolios are submitted online on our digital platform. Details are on the main IADT website. We had to move to digital portfolios in a hurry last March given the COVID emergency, but it was such a success that we're sticking with it. We had project days last year as well for the first time. We will have them again this year as virtual project days. They will be held in February 2021 during the midterm break. I'll talk about them a little more now shortly. You, the max you can get for a portfolio is 600 points. Those points, plus your leaving certificate points or FE college points are added together. Based on that combined number, the CAO then makes its offer of places. So for example, if the points for film are 900, with a portfolio of 500 points, you'd need 400 plus points in the leaving or equivalent. So what goes into a portfolio? There are no rules about portfolios, just advice. What follows is a guide. We get hundreds of applications and it's always the work that stands out. There is no secret formula. But in general terms, a portfolio is a collection of work that showcases your interests and ability. It used to be that big black folder that contained all of your work. It still is the same, now it's only digital. We are looking for people who display real creativity, curiosity about the world, and display inventiveness in their work and ideas. Build your portfolio around selected themes, maybe, projects, events, rather than a random selection of your best work. Maybe tell a story with some of your work, build it into a narrative, make or link pieces together into something that ties it all together. We want to see your energy and enthusiasm for your chosen craft. It always shines through in the best applicants. This talk is a start, but please go to the portfolio guidebook. All the information is in that. There's also good advice on the website for each programme. You should also go to the open days like this one and sign up for portfolio clinics. You will also find a great video on the website that shows you how to photograph your work using just your phone to put it up on the portfolio platform as well. So yes, you can create work by hand, of course you can. Photograph it and upload it. Digital work as JPEGs, PDFs or videos are also welcome. Some portfolio tips include, be organized in your selection. Quality over quantity is important. Think about your choices as it reflects on your own understanding of the work. Present work clearly and cleanly. Help us to help you and understand what it is that you are presenting. Work can be finished and can be a work in progress. We like to see your process and how, you, how things develop for you. You can show large work, of course, using photographs. If you're doing a course or you're in school, do include all that work, but we really like to see your own work done outside of courses. It really stands out as showing your passion for your craft. Many programmes require sketchbooks and you can photo them and up upload them and their contents. Indeed, as I say, many programmes do require sketchbooks as part of the application process. Your CV is important, as in a personal statement. Use them, as always, to express your passion and interest, not just in a discipline, but in working with others or just as a way to tell your own story. This is a quote from the handbook that I think sums things up. We like to see a portfolio that demonstrates visual skill, creativity, self-motivation, inventiveness, experimentation, flexibility, and stylistic variation. Technical ability is important, but it's trumped by a creative streak. It's that spark of creativity that we're really looking for. I spoke before about project days. These are an alternative to portfolio applications, but very similar. You get a brief from us to do some work, that will help us to assess your abilities and your creativity. The brief will be released on the 14th of December on our website. You will have time to work on some of it at home first, over Christmas and perhaps into January. Then you will have to complete one piece of work online as part of a group with support from lecturers. 
This will happen during the midterm in February. All the work you make at home and during the guided sessions must be uploaded digitally to our digital platform. You get a score based on your work soon after that. You can still submit a portfolio if you're not happy with your score. The scoring is just the same as the portfolio points with a max of 600 possible. More information will be on the website soon. The Virtual Project Day applies to art, design for film, animation, graphic design, photography and visual media, and interaction and user experience design. The portfolio is still the main way to apply, but the Project Day is a really good alternative. People often ask, if I do a course at IDT, will I get a job? Over 90% of our graduates are employed within a year of graduating. You might not end up where you imagine, but being creative means being able to think on your feet. It means being able to solve problems and deal with anything that life throws at you. And our graduates end up in all sorts of places, from designers like Rory O'Neill, who's a national treasure, to Peter Foote, who wrote and directed Young Offenders. There should be no limit to your ambitions. I'll leave it there. Some important dates again. The CAO deadline is February the 1st, 2021. The portfolio assessment deadline is the 18th of March, 2021. And the graduate show will be in May, 2021. I very much hope to see you all there. Slán, agus gur mílim hagaf as a chvefechid. Thank you.